Hey everybody, welcome to a little steak tutorial. You know, um, I'm gonna wash my hands before we get started here. Get everything nice and clean. And then what I have here to get started is a little trick that I like to use, especially before grilling outside. And what it involves is, is actually pre-salting the beef. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cooking these in about 35, 40 minutes from now. But before that, what I'm gonna do is just salt them with some sea salt, pretty liberally on both sides. And this is just nice New York strip steak that I've gotten at a local butcher here. You know, as we all know, that we get, we get the very best in Las Vegas at uh, our places and, you know, prepare for you. But this is something from a local butcher here. And I'm gonna salt that side. I'm gonna salt this side. And then we're gonna just keep that in a nice chilled refrigerator until we're ready to cook it. You could do this for up to an hour and a half, two hours. I wouldn't do it more than that. But what that does, it draws a little bit of moisture out of the meat, you know, and we're gonna pat it dry before we, you know, slick it up and oil it and then go on to a really hot grill. So let's go in the fridge for now. Okay, now we're gonna get ready to go onto the grill. So now you've seen, you can see that the steaks are weeping. We call it weeping a little bit. There's a little bit of moisture on there. So we're gonna take a, just some toweling, dry them off. Again, on both sides, flip them over. We'll do the other side too, just quickly. And really what this does is kind of like, it pulls, when it pulls the moisture out, it kind of tightens up the meat itself, you know, it tightens up the fiber. Um, but obviously it also has a nice salinity salt to the, t to the steak, okay? All right, so we got that going on here. We're gonna take, crack some nice pepper, fresh black pepper, just before it's going on the grill here. And make sure we do lots. You can't over pepper this. You know, I like it, you know, this is almost like a steak up poivre idea because you know, you're gonna lose a lot of this into the grill. You know, by the way, you could do the same thing in a pan if you wanted to, you know, for this Memorial Day weekend. You know, we can't, ha we can't wait to have you back at our restaurant, so we're gonna try to tempt you by doing it right here, you know? Um, here we go. Same thing on this side. And then in our bowl over here, what we have is two tablespoons of olive oil two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, and two tablespoons of soy. So equal amounts of each. And what I'm gonna do, just when, just before you're ready to go on the grill, I'm just gonna brush that lightly, like that. We're gonna brush each one of our steaks lightly, and then we're gonna go right on to a nice hot grill. Now, again, about medium heat. We don't want it too hot, because we don't want a lot of flame or char like this, when it starts flaming like this, you don't want that too much, right? You know, I always recommend sometimes having a spray bottle here. I know this grill so well, especially over the last couple of weeks, um, that I know where I have to be and, and that kind of thing. And then once we got that sear going, so this is the first one on there, you see that, those markings here? So we're gonna change it on the grill and get a nice diamond mark. So we're gonna shift it about 60 degrees, 80 degrees, whatever you like, you know, that kind of thing. Same thing with this one. We're gonna shift it to that. Next, we shift it so we get that nice crosshatch marking. Now, these steaks are a little bit thinner than I like usually. I look for a cut that's about an inch to inch and a quarter inch thick at, at least. Two inches thick is fine too, or you know, like a really thick cut, that's nice. But remember, the thicker cut is gonna take longer to grill. You gotta do it accordingly, okay? We're gonna come over here, see what we got there. Look at that perfect, perfect hatching, right? All right, we're just gonna pull our last two steaks off the grill there. You know, I've opened up a beautiful bottle of Rockpile Zinfandel from my good friend, Clay Moritzen. I'm gonna enjoy that with the steaks. So we can get you back to one of our restaurants at MGM Mandalay Bay. You know, have a great time. Thank you, Charlie Palmer.